Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to talk about TENS machines. Something that's really commonly talked about, but quite commonly misunderstood. So. TENS machines are a great option. It's a low risk option for people with significant amounts of pain. Really commonly prescribed in physical therapy clinics and in healthcare in general, talked about by a number of healthcare providers. Like I said, unfortunately, they're quite misunderstood. So I wanna talk a little bit about why they're misunderstood, what they actually are, what they're good for, and how we use them in our clinic. So take them off my temple right now. Take the other pads off the rest of my body. So we can get to talking a little bit about TENS machines, okay? For a long time, these were thought to be the most important thing to do with rehab and with therapy. So TENS is a type of modality, which is a passive modality, meaning it gets put on your body, you sit there and do nothing, right? So it's a modality that uses electricity and electrical currents at certain frequencies to address the central nervous system. So what do we feel that as? Most people who have experienced TENS know this as a little tingling sensation. It can be very mild or it can be very strong. And it's commonly put around the area where you have an injury or you have pain. So uh, it's really good for acute pain or chronic pain, um, but in certain applications. This is where it's important to understand why it's misunderstood. So the important thing to remember is that this is for the nervous system. The electrical currents that you feel from these pads that are placed on your body are to address pain in that area. How does it do this? Well, have you ever whacked your phoning bone before or kicked your shin on the coffee table? Now, aside from getting really, really creative with your use of curse words and expletives, you're probably gonna rub it immediately. That's our initial reaction. When we get hurt somewhere, we get hit, we rub that area, we grab that area, okay? This is because pain goes up to your brain on one set of nerves and touch, that touch sensation you feel when you grab something or pressure or even vibration uh, goes up to your brain on a different set of nerves. So the signal that we interpret as pain when you hit your funny bone or you whack your shin on the coffee table, all right, that signal that we interpret as pain goes up to your brain on a nerve that transmits slower than when you touch yourself. All right, so what that means is the receptors in your body that interpret touch, pressure, vibration, things like that, they actually travel to your brain on a nerve that has a faster transmission rate. So they get up to your brain faster than pain will. Okay, so think of it like this. It's two separate highways with two speed limits. This is the nerve that carries a signal we know is pain. This is the nerve that carries the uh, signals that we interpret as pressure, vibration, light touch, deep touch, things like that. This has a much faster speed limit than this highway. So these signals are gonna get up to your brain faster than the pain is going to. So what does that mean? Well, your brain can really only interpret one of those signals at a time. And so when you grab something that's painful, the reason it feels better is because that other sensation is temporarily overriding your brain's ability to interpret the pain signal. So you feel a little bit of relief there or quite a bit of relief there, depending on how bad the injury is. Now, this doesn't mean you can cut your arm off and grab it and be like, oh, look, I don't feel any pain anymore. That's not what we're saying at all. For certain types of pain and certain injuries, you can achieve what's called um, a combination through the gate theory of pain. So the gate is closing for pain and it's opening for the touch signal or the other signal or the other stimulus that you are trying to provide to that area. Which is why something as simple as kicking your shin on the coffee table or whacking your funny bone feels better when we rub it. It's the gate theory of pain taking over. You're closing the gate for pain and you're opening the gate to allow that other touch signal to get up to your brain and that's what you're gonna interpret instead, because you can really only interpret one thing at a time from a particular area on your body. So how do these guys come into play, right? Well, this, uh, the frequency used by these TENS machines will actually activate or stimulate those nerve endings that interpret things other than pain. So these other signals are going to be sent up to your brain and you're gonna be activating that gate theory of pain for five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever it is, okay? so. That's what we call the gate theory of pain. So it's really just addressing the central nervous system to give us temporary pain relief in a particular area. Unfortunately, the research is really not that conclusive on this yet. There's quite a lack of 
significant, strong clinical trials and studies that are done to show any definitive improvement. There is a lot of research to show that it's possibly placebo effect. Um, you know, other people just like it feeling good. For whatever reason, when I pull the audience, audiences, any of my patients that I talk to, friends and family, because these are quite the hot topic in physical therapy world, healthcare, even patients, they ask, oh, are we gonna do TENS? Can you do STEM? Whatever it might be. When I pull the audience, most people feel like it does something because A, they feel something, they feel that tingling sensation, but also it's a fancy piece of electronic equipment. It's electricity. It's gotta be doing something in the body, right? Again, it really just addresses the nervous system and kind of tricks your brain into feeling something that it otherwise would not feel. So what's the take home there? The take home is that it doesn't actually change any of the tissue in your body, meaning it won't help heal the tissue. Physiologically, it's not going to make a muscle repair itself faster or better. It won't improve blood flow. It's just going to give us temporary pain relief. And that's not a bad thing. Pain is public enemy number one. We absolutely want people to be in less pain. So the limited application that we use in the clinic, and to be honest, the only reason I have this unit is because there was some rep a few years ago that was giving me one away for free. The company has since gone out of business, but regardless, it was always good to have on hand in case of emergencies. If somebody comes in with really, really acute pain, it can help bring their pain levels down a little bit to get them to work on other things. So we can achieve other results with exercise, mobility drills, uh, nervous system drills, things like that. They're actually more active and passive, but I'll also use it postoperatively. If somebody comes in with quite a bit of pain and we have to get a joint moving, whether it's a shoulder uh, after a rotator cuff repair, I'll absolutely put this on their shoulder and then I'll passively glide them through different ranges of motion for the shoulder and it may make a very painful movement or what would otherwise be a very painful movement more tolerable and then we can achieve better results that way. Or with a knee, I'll put it on somebody's knee after a, a surgery or after an injury and they have to facilitate movements. If there's a lot of swelling in the knee, it can be quite painful. Um, if there are some incisions or sutures, it can also be quite painful. Or if you're just in the acute healing phase of an injury, it can be quite painful to move the joint, but it's also very necessary. So there's no harm in taking one of these, knowing what I know about it, that it's going to trick the nervous system in the area to allow us to have more pain-free motion. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use that free speed every day and twice on Sunday. So uh, this is really the take home that I wanted to hit with uh, these TENS machines or these STEM units or, or the e-STEM. So, uh, you know, it's, you know they're, they're kind of funny because they're a hot topic. Um, you know, we really don't use them a whole lot in the clinic. If you guys know anything about us is we really strive to be a lot more active than we are passive with our approaches and with our treatments. So, um, you know, while these by no means are the devil they're really not as um, you know, beneficial as they're cracked up to be in the healthcare world. And maybe that makes me a bad guy, maybe that puts a target on my back, and maybe I'm gonna piss a whole lot of you guys off that are watching this, but it's just the truth and it's been our experience. So uh, again, guys, TENS machines can be a low risk option for people who are in quite a bit of pain, uh, but they are very, very misunderstood. And we really like to educate our clients uh, on, the, on the uses of, of things like this in the healthcare world. Uh, no different than if we were talking about foam rollers or exercise balls or bands or whatever it might be. It's just, what's the reality of these machines? So uh, it can help with some issues. It can help with certain instances, but by and large, you know, the lion's share of the benefit of this is purely uh, nervous system related. It will help reduce some pain depending on the type of pain, but it will not be permanent. It will be short lived. It's very short term and we like to use it as little as possible. Uh, or right after surgery, we'll get it on you to achieve what we need to achieve, get some motion, get the joints rolling, and, uh, and then we go from there. So uh, take it or leave it, guys. Let us know your thoughts on STEM machines, uh, if you really want to, if you ever had one. But uh, we use them sparingly. They serve a very small purpose, and we like to get away from that as much as possible because that means we're onto bigger and better things in the gym. So. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in and talking about TENS units today. Hot topics, always fun to talk about. Cheers.